Zombie Vikings is... We sometimes joke around with it and call it a hack venture. Zombie Vikings is a, a co-op brawler uh, set in a, a terribly perverted version. No, that's not the wrong. <laughs> Zombie Vikings is, is a co-op brawler uh, set in a really sort of twisted, wrong version of uh, Nordic mythology. Wait, look! Whee! Check it out! I can save you in the magic ship! It's powered by good vibes! It's a hack and slash game, but what's cool about it is that we try to add a lot of story and a lot of quests. We're trying to add a sort of adventure feel to it as well. It's not just the hack and slash part, there's a story in there somewhere. Uh, do you smell that? That's the scent of rotting kelp slime. Really moistens up the sinuses nicely. Oh, so that's why I can't breathe. Smell like death! So Zombie Vikings is quite different from other hack and slash games in the way that we put a lot of time into story uh, and script. It's actually a lot more story focused than you think. Where most hack and slash is just, you know, you, you throw four identical characters in there, maybe put different hats on them, different colors. Like the zombie squad of zombie vikings are actually four fleshed out characters with, with relationships and with backstories that, that we explore. Yeah, we really try to, to, to let the characters have character. The other thing I think is that it's quite intensely co-op focused. We have gameplay-wise focused quite a bit more than what's usual on uh, sort of um, making uh, making the players do, do synchronized motions together. What I saw with other uh, hack and slash games and brawls is that you, even if you have four player games, these four players wouldn't actually interact with each other. They were basically, one would be attacking one enemy and one would be attacking another enemy, but you wouldn't really cooperate in a way. That's one of the things we wanted to try to, to change in, in Zombie Vikings, that you can actually do things together. We want to force people, not force, but we want it to be, you to be better if you actually work together. We also play a lot around with that the characters are actually already dead, which is quite funny because that way you can stab each other and throw them around with a sword, you don't die from that. If you lose your head, you don't die, and you can use the head as a weapon. So we try to play around with the ideas that, you know, if you're dead and you're playing in a fighting game, what could you do differently than from being alive? Hey Seagard, what do you think of fish charts? Oh, well, it's an excellent beard lubricant, but uh, dangerously explosive when concentrated. We try to, to bring in humor and comedy into our games. Uh, and I think for my part, it, it has to do with um, as I, when I grew up, uh, there were games that were like that, and they sort of went away, and everything was had to be so so bloody cool all the time. So we need, thought, and I feel that we sort of need to do something different. Victory! Uh.